Good afternoon all. You know that feeling when you're sort of thinking about your next project, trying to work out how you're going to do something, and while you're thinking you're just sort of playing with something, and I'm just playing around with this super capacitor powered jewel thief on this little breadboard. So here's the super capacitor, um, 2.7 volts, 10 farads, and uh, I plug it in there and it runs the jewel thief quite happily. And uh, I've got another one here, which I can put in this board when this one runs down, which is about five or 10 minutes, I suppose. But I was trying to think, well, as well as my main thoughts, I was having a secondary thought. How should I charge these supercapacitors? I just wanted to come up with something really, really simple that didn't tax my brain too much. Uh, so I came up with this. Uh, just two inner loops. Now these things sit at about 1.25 volts. So two of those in series is 2.5 volts. I'm only charging uh, the capacitor up to 2.5 volts. Uh, that goes directly onto this breadboard and there's an LED. No resistor needed because um, the voltage is sort of below the point where an LED starts to conduct a lot of current. So that's actually quite dim. I've lowered the blinds so the camera's got quite a high gain. Uh, so the way I charge this is I just simply put it in there and the LED goes out, of course, because the capacitor, um, well, capacitors don't like having their voltage changed quickly. So this capacitor is at zero volts and it's saying, I'm not changing my voltage rapidly. You're just going to have to tolerate the fact that I'm at zero volts. Now, of course, the batteries are have a similar th train of thought. They're saying, well, we're 2.5 volts and we're not going to yield on that very much. So all the uh, difference in voltage is going to be in these wires, in the connectors, in that rather noddy little switch there, in the connectors on this uh, little breadboard. So that's where the differential between that voltage and that voltage are. Now, having said that, this capacitor will be shooting up in voltage. Of course, it's going to charge non-linearly. Um, because the voltage differential between zero and two and a half volts means that the current is going to be maximum when it first starts charging. That's going to slow down uh, exponentially. And so the last part of the charge is going to be pretty slow. Now, what I'm waiting for, of course, is to see a little glow on that blue LED. If I take this capacitor out, oh, well, you can see just through rubbish connections on the breadboard, that there is the, um, there's the brightness of the blue LED at two and a half volts. If I put the capacitor back in, clearly, oh dear, that's really making a very bad connection, isn't it? Uh, clearly it's holding the voltage down a bit. This hasn't really come up to uh, full voltage yet. And as I say, the last part of the charge is much slower than the first part. But for me, this is good enough, really. Just uh, when that light comes on, I kind of know that this thing is going to be well, it's probably over about 2.2 volts, something like that. The threshold at which a blue LED just starts to glow. Um, this one's getting a little bit low now. So let's take that one out. This one's mostly charged. Let's put that one in my jewel thief. Oh yeah, that's really nice and bright because of course the jewel thief is a boost converter effectively. It's um, boosting the capacitor voltage up to uh, easily enough to get a nice current flowing through that LED. And now this one, of course, is discharged. So let's put that in the charger, make sure everything's the right way around. That LED is completely off at the moment. So the voltage on the capacitor is going to be low and it's shooting up quickly because we've got a fair current running through here. Uh, not enough for anything to melt or anything like that. Um, there's enough resistance in all these connections. Incidentally, I've also got uh, these in here, which are, are they warm? No, they're not warm. These are sort of dummy AA cells. I tried to get some of these a while back and I couldn't find them anywhere. I couldn't find them on eBay. Um, these ones I think I got from Maplin years and years ago. Maplin, who have now uh, gone into administration, I think. I think the shops are still open, but effectively gone bust. And it's not surprising. And to be honest, I feel partly responsible myself because for many years now I've been advocating buying your electronics direct from China. 
and having all those envelopes appear at your door and paying no postage charge at all. How can Maplin compete with that? But uh, yeah, so that's what I've been playing with. A 2.5 volt um, voltage source. Quite substantial current capability on there. Um, charging up the capacitor, that's not actually... Oh, I switched it off, didn't I? Did I switch it off? No, it's on. Uh, what's going on here then? Oh, that is coming up. That is coming on. I mean, if the connection's on, uh, these two are high resistance. And of course, uh, we're going to get less current flowing between batteries and capacitor. But yeah, that is just a quick and dirty um, super capacitor charger with a little indicator light, which is showing that that one is coming up gradually. This one's still working fine. Um, yeah, while I sort of think of other things. Cheerio.